नमस्कार डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन टूरिज्म इन अफ्रीका दिस यूनिट हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स द पार्ट वन हैज बीन फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू फाइव सब टॉपिक्स फॉर इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग फर्स्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन सेकंड मेजर जियोग्राफिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इजिप्ट एंड कीनिया थर्ड मेजर जियोग्राफिकल फीचर्स ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका एंड टैंजेनिया फोर्थ emerging tourism destinations in africa and fifth the climate coming to the introduction africa is the second largest continent in the world by size africa comprises of 55 countries and 9 territories and two de facto states that are basically their own entities with no special rights or recognition africa is made up of approximately about 22% of the world's landmass the origin of the name africa is greatly disputed by scholars most believe it stems from words used by the phoenicians greeks and romans important words include the egyptian word afrika meaning motherland the greek word afrike meaning without cold and the latin word africa meaning sunny africa is comprised of desert tropical savanna grasslands jungle and seven sub arctic climates the top half of the continent is comprised of desert and the sahara desert the world's hottest desert is located in northern africa and at 3.5 million square miles is approximately the size of the united states or china the nile river which runs through 11 different countries in africa is the longest in the world over 4000 miles long the world's second largest lake and largest tropical lake is lake victoria located in uganda tanzania and kenya africa is located in between the atlantic ocean and indian ocean and to the north is the mediterranean sea africa is the only continent large enough to be in both the northern temperate and southern temperate zones the equator also runs through several countries in africa at 19340 feet the highest point in africa is mount kilimanjaro located in tanzania and is a popular mountain climbing destination The lowest point on the African continent is Lake Assal located in G Bounty at 502 feet below sea level. Tourism in Africa has flourished well in recent years and it has huge market value for tourism around the world. The most popular countries for tourism in Africa are Egypt, Kenya, Tanzania and Morocco and South Africa. There are also major upcoming destinations in Africa like Reunion Island, Seychelles which has seen a rise in tourist inflow in recent years. African tourism is slowly increasing its pace as tourist inflow in 1990 was just 17.4 million but in 2012 the inflow was remarkable and it has reached around 64 million. major geographical features of established and emerging regions there are established tourism destinations in africa which bring in lots of international tourists to their destinations the main established destinations in africa are as follows egypt major geographical features of egypt are desert and nile river delta nile river is the lifeline of egypt Egypt receives only about an inch that is 2.5 cm of rainfalls throughout the year but each summer the river rises because of rains as it soars far to the south in Ethiopia floods cover the river's valleys leaving sediments needed for trees plants and crops to grow Egypt is often divided into two sections upper Egypt in the south and lower Egypt in the north 
The sections are named this way because the Nile flows from south to north. The river empties into the Mediterranean Sea. Southern Egypt's landscape contains low mountains and deserts. Northern Egypt has wide valleys near the Nile and desert to the east and west. North of Cairo, the capital in the sprawling triangular Nile River Delta. This fertile land is completely covered with farms. Egypt is home to a wide variety of animals and plants including cheetahs, hyenas, crocodiles and cobras. The best places to see Egypt's wildlife are in its 21 protected regions which include oasis, deserts, mountains, coastal areas, river islands and wetlands. Egyptians have always been close to the natural world. Kenya The total area of Kenya is 2,24,960 square miles. Almost 5,200 square miles of this total takes the form of fresh water, mainly in Lake Rudolf. Kenya is positioned on the equator on Africa's east coast. Its northernmost and southernmost points are approximately equidistant, a little over 40 north and south of the equator. Kenya shares borders with five other countries. The perimeter of Kenya's international land borders is 3446 km, including borders with Sudan 306 km, Ethiopia 779 km, Somalia 682 km, Tanzania 769 km and Uganda 772 km. The country stretches from the snow-capped mountains in the north to the sea in the east. The terrain gradually changes from the low-lying coastal plains to the Kenyan highlands. Coastal Kenya is a highly fertile low-lying area. One can find a coral reef over here also. There is a dry coastal plain covered by thorny bushes and savanna over here. Mount Kenya is the highest point of the country and is 5,199 meters high. Mount Elgon and Mount Kilimanjaro are the other mountain ranges in Kenya. The Great Rift Valley, located in the western and central part of the country, is one of the striking features of the geography of Kenya. The valley divides the Kenyan highlands into east and west. The highlands are an important agricultural region of the country as they have a cool climate and a highly fertile soil. There are a good number of swamps in the Lorraine Plain, sited in the northeastern part of Kenya. South Africa The geography of South Africa is full of diversity. The country is located in the southern end of Africa. The long coastline of South Africa stretches more than 2,500 km on the Atlantic coast southwards from the desert border with Namibia. The mountainous escarpment separates the low-lying coastal zone from the high inland plateau. The province of KwaZulu, Natal, located on the east, divide the coast from the escarpment. The inland Karu Plateau comprises rocky hills and mountains. The famous Kalahari Desert is located on the northwestern part of the country. The eastern and southern coast of South Africa features Greenland. The two main rivers that flow are Limpopo and Orange. Another important aspect of geography of South Africa is the variable climatic condition of the country. The Karoo Plateau and the Kalahari Desert temperature are exceptionally dry and very hot in the summers and chilling in winters. The climate on the eastern part of the country is tropical whereas the southwestern part has a Mediterranean climate. The most notable feature of this region is the wind that blows throughout the year. Geographical and climatic diversity of the country has also affected the vegetation of the country. There are more than 20,000 species of plants surviving all over South Africa. Tanzania 
the Tanzanian geography is full of pleasant surprises. It includes the tropical beach region as well as the more temperate highlands in the central part of the country. The geography of Tanzania possesses unique topographical characteristics. The multitude of lakes, nature's reserves and mountains add to the wonder of the country. The central region of Tanzania is a large plateau. Arable land suitable for irrigation and crop cultivation purpose are situated to the north of the country. The many national park of Tanzania and grasslands are located in the south. The eastern part of the country has a predominantly tropical climate. The climate is hot and humid. The administrative center of Dar es Salaam is situated in this area. The Zanzibar Island is also situated in this climatic zone. The geography in Tanzania northeast is mountainous. The area also exhibits active volcanic activity. The notable mountains in this area include famous mountains like Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Meru. The natural stunning beauty of the mountains draws a large number of tourists from all over the world. The total area of the country is 9,45,087 square kilometers. The land area is 8,86,037 square kilometers. Tanzania has a 1,424 square kilometer long coastline. The emerging destinations in Africa are as follows. Seashells. The seashells, 115 granite and coral islands extend from between 4 and 10 degrees south of the equator and lie between 480 km and 1600 km from the east coast of Africa in the western Indian Ocean. This Indian Ocean Republic occupies a land area of 455 square kilometers. It represents an archipelago of timeless beauty, tranquility and harmony that is famous for its world-beating beaches and for its great diversity which rolls from lush forest down to the warm azure ocean. Of these, 115 islands, 41 inner islands constitute the oldest mid-oceanic granite islands on earth while a further 74 from the five groups of low-lying coral atolls and reef islets that are the outer islands. Seashells is home to no less than two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the legendary Valley de Mai on Praslin, where the wondrously shaped Coco de Mer nut grows high on ancient palms and the fabled Aldabra, the world's largest raised coral atoll, first seen by early Arab seafarers on the 9th century AD. Seashells, one of the world's very last frontiers, promises adventure and breathtaking natural beauty in pristine surrounds still untouched by man. Uganda Uganda is located in eastern Africa, west of Kenya, south of South Sudan, east of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and north of Rwanda and Tanzania. It is in the heart of the Great Lakes region and is surrounded by three of them, Lake Edward, Lake Albert and Lake Victoria. While much of its border is lakeshore, Uganda is landlocked with no access to the sea. The geography of the country is generally horizontal with a height of 1000 meters in most parts of the country. However, its location on the Great African Plateau and across the equator gives it an outstanding biological and physical diversity. Uganda is naturally gifted with water and fertility. 25% of the area is covered with rivers, swamps and lakes. Lake Victoria is the largest lake in Africa, the starting place of the River Nile, the world's longest river. Lake Kyoga in the center of the country. Lakes Edward, George and Albert close to the border of Congo. The country is also an invention of the African continent uplift 
with the most mountainous part in the southwest that harbors the Renzori Mountains, which form the utmost mountain in Africa. Other mountains also include Virunga, Mount Elgon, the northern volcanoes of Uganda, Bufumbira Mountains on the southwestern border of Rwanda, and many more of these physical features make Uganda a very interesting geographical part of Africa. Reunion Island Located in the southwest of the Indian Ocean, the island is elliptic in form. Its greatest diameter measures 43 miles, that is 70 kilometers, with a surface area of 1,555 miles, that is 2,512 kilometers square. The island is 39 miles, that is 63 kilometers long, is 28 miles, that is 45 kilometers wide. Reunion lies at 21 degrees 6 minutes south and 55 degrees 32 minutes east, which locates it to the north of the Tropic of Capricorn. It is 700 km from Madagascar to the west and 180 km from Mauritius to the northeast. In the context of the Western Indian Ocean, the submarine plateau of the Mascarignes constitutes the area north to the seashells with Mauritius delimiting the trench of the Mascarignes to the west that is minus 4,000 to minus 5,000 meters and that of Madagascar or Morris in the south that is minus 4,000 to minus 5,000 meters and to Rodrigues in the east that is 5,000 meters. On reunion, the coral reefs are very localized covering part of the western littoral. The lack of a continental shelf means that the sea quickly becomes deep not far from the coast. Reunion Island is the result of volcanic activity which began around 5 million years ago. Lava erupted from a hot spot in the oceanic crust to form a huge cone rather than a worm cast. It is thought that the island eventually emerged from the sea around 3 million years ago and gradually with successive eruptions and much erosion became the island that is still evolving today. Two million years later, the first volcanic mass, the Piton des Niges, was created. Deep under the ocean, the volcano forms an immense cone with a base of 200 km and a total height of about 7,000 meters. The island, being located above a hot spot in the Earth's crust, is slowly moving. It is made up of two distinct volcanoes, the Piton des Niges, that is Snow Peak, which is now extinct, and the younger and more active Piton de la Furnace, that is Furnace Peak. Climate Africa mainly lies within the intertropical zone between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Only the northernmost and the southernmost fringes of the continent have a Mediterranean climate because they are not located under the tropics. Because of this geographical situation, Africa is a hot continent as the solar radiation intensity is always high. Thus, Warm and hot climates prevails all over Africa, but the northern part is the most marked part by aridity and high temperatures. The climate of Africa is a range of climates such as the equatorial climate, the tropical wet and dry climate, the tropical monsoon climate, the semi-desert climate that is semi-arid, the desert climate that is hyper-arid and arid, the subtropical highland climate, etc. Temperature climates remain rare through the continent, except at very high elevations and along the fringes. In fact, the climate of Africa is more dependent to rainfall amount than to temperatures as they are consistently high. African deserts are the sunniest and the driest parts of the continent due to the prevailing presence of the subtropical ridge with subsiding hot, dry air masses. Temperature and Wind 
The hottest average temperature on Earth is Dalol, Ethiopia, which averages a temperature of 33.9 degrees Celsius, that is 93.0 degree Fahrenheit throughout the year. The hottest temperature recorded within Africa, which was also the world record, was 57.8 degrees Celsius, that is 136.0 degree Fahrenheit at Azizia, Libya on September 13, 1922. This has since been proven to be false due to an inaccurate reading of a thermometer. The world's hottest place is in fact Death Valley in California. Apparent temperatures, combining the effect of the temperature and humidity along the Red Sea coast of Ethiopia and Gulf of Aden coast of Somalia range between 57 degrees Celsius, that is 135 degree Fahrenheit and 63 degrees Celsius, that is 145 degree Fahrenheit during the afternoon hours. The lowest temperature measured within Africa was minus 24 degrees Celsius, that is minus 11 degree Fahrenheit at Ifrain, Morocco on February 11, 1935. Nevertheless, the major part of Africa experiences extreme heat during a good part of the year, especially deserts, steppes and savannas, which possesses the highest temperatures. Actually, the African deserts are arguably the hottest places on Earth, especially the Sahara Desert and the Danakil Desert located in the Horn of Africa. The low-level easterly African jet stream is considered to play a crucial role in the southwest monsoon of Africa and helps form the tropical waves which march across the tropical Atlantic and eastern Pacific oceans during the warm season. The jet exhibits both barotropic and baroclinic instability which produces synoptic scale westward propagating disturbances in the jet known as African easterly waves or tropical waves. A small number of mesoscale storm systems embedded in these waves develop into tropical cyclones after they move from West Africa into the tropical Atlantic mainly during August and September. When it lies south of normal during the peak months of the Atlantic hurricane season, tropical cyclone formation is suppressed. Precipitation and snow. Great parts of North Africa and Southern Africa as well as the whole Horn of Africa mainly have a hot desert climate or a hot semi-arid climate for the wetter locations. The Sahara Desert at the north is the largest hot desert in the world and is one of the hottest, driest and sunniest places on earth. The part just located at the south of the desert is a narrow steppe, a semi-arid region and is called the Sahel, while its most southern areas contain both savanna plains and its central portion contains very dense jungle rainforest regions. Within of Madagascar, trade winds bring moisture up the eastern slopes of the island which is deposited as rainfall and brings drier downsloped winds to areas south and west, leaving the western sections of the island in a rain shadow. This leads to significantly more rainfall over northeast sections of the island than the southwestern portions of Madagascar. Southern Africa receives most of its rainfall from summer convective storms and with extra tropical cyclones moving through the westerlies. Once a decade, tropical cyclones lead to excessive rainfall across the region. Snow is an almost annual occurrence on some of the mountains of South Africa, including those of the Sederberg and around Ceres, Western Cape in the Southwestern Cape and on Drakensberg in Natal and Lesotho. Tiffindel Resort in Drakensberg is the only commercial skiing that takes place in South Africa and has advanced snowmaking capability allowing skiing for three months of the year. The Mountain Club of South Africa MCSA and the Mountain and Ski Club MSC of the University of Cape Town both have equipped ski huts in the Hex River Mountains. 
Skiing including snowboarding in the Cape is a hit and miss affair both in terms of timing of snowfalls and whether there is sufficient snow to cover the rocks. Table Mountain gets a light dusting of snow on the front table and also at Devil's Peak every few years. In Johannesburg, snow is a rare occurrence. Additionally, snow regularly falls in the Atlas Mountains in the Maghreb. Thank you.